Good morning guys, welcome back to the video. My name is Kevin and welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be about Zion Smooth 4 in combination with the Filmic Pro app. Now Zion has released their beautiful gimbal I think last year and everybody was so excited about it because it was the world's first gimbal with a focus wheel, zoom wheel let's say, uh, for the smartphone. So let's see what Filmic Pro is all about. So first of the bad, if you want Filmic Pro, you need to go to the App Store, could either be in iOS, could either be in uh, Android, in the Play app, and you have to download it, but it costs unfortunately a bit of money. Now, but uh, in my opinion, uh, it may be cost money, but it is definitely worth it. Let me just tell you a few things why. Um, a few differences between the ZY Play app and the Filmic Pro app is that Filmic Pro is uh, created for real content uh, creators, uh, mobile content creators. So if you want to have some professional recording uh, but you only have a phone, no camera, then you will need to use the Filmic Pro app. It is honestly one of the best apps out to date. So let me just put the camera on the screen from my phone and show you how you connect the gimbal to the app uh, and what you call what what the controls on the gimbal do in the application of filmic pro see you in a second all right guys so i set it up my setup a bit differently so you can see my phone i didn't want to record it uh, on a screen recorder on the phone because then it's kind of difficult to see where i will be clicking the buttons and stuff so let's get right into this right okay so as you can see here i got my filmic pro app let me just tap it once and see when it opens just like that Okay, so the Filmic Pro app now opens. Let me just adjust my screen here a little bit so you can actually see. I'm sorry for the reflection, guys, but this is the best way that I can show you at this moment. Okay, so first off, when you get into Filmic Pro, this is the screen that you will get. So here, as you can see, the meters are going up and down. This is actually the meter for the uh, recording. So you do not go into red if you are screaming too loud, for instance. So you can set the meter level for your microphone. Now, this here, the square that you see on this side, this is actually the square for your focus and your zooming. Uh, so you can lock your focus uh, if you want to, if you press it, and you can unlock it once again. The circle on this side, on the other hand, that is actually the one that sets your exposure. Um, let me just show you guys uh, what you need to do actually first when you set up your gimbal. So you plug, you put in your phone in the gimbal, you turn on the gimbal, see that it's well balanced of course. Let me just remove all of the messages like that. Now. After the, so first thing you do for setting up your Filmic Pro app, you click on the little circle on the corner in the corner here. Once you click it on the corner like that, you will get this menu. Now, first things you see here, let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you have the first thing here is resolution. Once you click that, and that is one thing I already want to mention as in the ZY Play app you can choose of course resolution of your video but unfortunately for some reason in Android it is not in 4K and it is also not in 60 frames per second so here the first step you see here HD 1080p just click the arrow to go to the right and boom there you go 4K now here as well if you want to have some nice cinematic then you just click the 2.39 and then you will get the two black bars like on the bottom and on the uh, top. Now, if you click out of it, you saw the screen went black for a moment and it didn't show the camera and it now changed the resolution to 4K 60 FPS. Now, frame rate, look at this. 24 frames, 25 frames, 30 frames, 60 frames per second. This is exactly what we want. So some people like to record some fast movement, sports or action, and then you will need the 60 frames per second. So just tap it once and voila. But if you do 60 frames per second, you do not have the cinematic look with the two black bars. As you can see, they removed. So 
anyway you can choose standard time lapse anything you want and there you go you have the 60 frames per second in 4k don't worry about stabilization because you your phone is in a gimbal which is stabilized video you will tap again the screen will go black once again and it changed now to 4k 60 fps audio same thing now if you haven't noticed on my channel there is a diy solution for attaching a microphone to your gimbal make sure to watch that video in case you are interested on how to connect a microphone the cheap and easy way now don't expect anything fancy because i just used some velcro so check it out and let me know in the comments what you think about it now at least here when a microphone is connected you can actually select the external microphone so that is nice as well and then lastly but not least now the most important part you need to connect your phone to the gimbal how do you do that you click here on hardware you see there zion smooth 4 just tick this part here click allow it will then turn on the bluetooth you click once again on the tap and your gimbal will show up so since i'm already connected you just click it and then you saw on the top part here let me just do that once again disconnect on the top part you will see connected to zion smooth 4 or to smooth 40059 in my case like that zion smooth 4 there it was so anyway now you are connected and it's just as easy as it is so welcome to the application then where the video is rolling so let's now talk about the buttons on the gimbal itself first off you have the menu button the menu button doesn't do anything you can click it as much as you want double tap triple tap do anything you want it will not do anything so just leave that behind and then what else do we have here is the display button on the right top corner of your gimbal where all the controls are you will have the display button as you can see when i press it those four things on the top of the screen pop up so let me just do that one again turning it off turning it on and then here of course everybody knows uh, if you want to have certain things in focus not in focus uh, the easy way to do it is just scroll this wheel and when you do that as you can see the lines will get differently so that is that uh, you can tap this one as well and then you see the differences of course red is overexposed um, just make sure that you just set your settings according to what you just want the most so anyway let me just focus completely out and let me just press the display button once again so then that is gone now then you have of course the picture button when you click the picture button it actually switches the camera to the front facing camera now there is one problem with that once you click it back you have to go back to your settings because as you can see on the top it changed the settings to 720 in my case so you go back to resolution you just set it back to 4k don't forget you just do it like that go to frame rate you can do this very quickly behind each other it will remember it instantly but the gimbal is of course still connected so just the only thing you needed to do is just change the settings that is all then for the next button of course we have the record button and everybody knows when you click record what will it do as you can see the red ball started to go so it is starting to record so no problem there the record button works just fine and then what else do we have is the white balance button so it's the top button of your scroll wheel on your gimbal when you click that one it will actually lock both exposure and focusing so as you can see the circle and the square on the screen will turn red so it means that this is locked and if you for instance go from a sunny outside to a little bit darker inside so it doesn't change the exposure so it doesn't jump in the video let's say if you want to do it them separately it is also possible so the left uh, button on the scroll wheel which is normally to change your camera from front facing to rear facing or the other way around will just lock the exposure and of course the one on the right side of the scroll wheel will change the focusing so you just lock it just like that with the right button then 
to show you the other one the bottom button which is normally to show your gallery it still shows the gallery no matter what now the other problem with this on the other hand is when you click it again it doesn't remove the gallery so you just have to tap the screen once and the gallery disappears then we have another button which is the flash button now the flash button is probably one you won't use very often but just in case you wanted to um, not everybody is familiar with camera settings even i i am honestly just a beginner i started with filming and cameras and drones just in july so it's really not that long ago um, anyway let's just click the flash button and see what will come up so as you can see now gimbal mode is on automatic which means that all the settings are just done automatically it will just adapt to the scene where you are going so this means that for instance your exposure will jump when you go from outside to inside and stuff like that when you click it again now you have gimbal mode manual which means that you can control as you can see you have on this side the scroll wheel and you have on this side the scroll wheel so here you can set your shutter uh, your shutter speed and stuff like that and on this side you can set your either your focus but this you can just do with the scroll wheel so you don't even have to touch the uh, screen anymore so that is that and then when you click it once again then you have recticles. I have absolutely no idea what recticles means and I am not even going to try to explain it because I honestly just don't know. Then there is one other button and of course that is the button to change from autofocus to... Uh, I mean that is to change from focusing to zooming. So it's the button actually that is... Let me just lift it up. It's actually this button right here, left bottom corner of your gimbal. So let me just put it back. When you click that button it is going to change from focusing to zooming so now we change that and now we can just zoom and i don't know if you notice but did you see how smooth actually the zooming is compared to with the zoi play up it's like all jumpy and stuff and i am actually just turning the wheel not even fast not even too slow i'm just turning it normal now it's not perfectly smooth like a camera would do but in my case uh, i am really really happy with that because most of the time that i will use the gimbal for zooming will be just like maybe in, in some sports that i want to zoom in or something like that so it won't be used anyway often anyway you click it again and then of course you can just scroll your wheel to have some focus out of focus in focus you know what i mean so far distance or short Anyway, that's being said, the gimbal for the rest doesn't have any other options to talk about. Filmic Pro is an app you can just download in the App Store. And yeah, that is basically it. Now, Filmic Pro works absolutely mentally great. Um, I just have to say this thing that when you are in the ZY Play app, the problem in the ZY Play and that many people are facing is that you when you select 4K 60fps, it is not really 4K 60fps because, you know, everybody can see the difference between 24 and 60 since once you click on 60fps, all of a sudden the image is way smoother. Everything is like in real life almost, let's say. So that is the main advantage of Filmic Pro and if you want to have that cinema-like video on a smartphone uh, i mean the black bars on the top and all of that stuff plus the other advantage that it has is for all the android users is that you can attach the external audio to it now i own a galaxy s9 plus like i said and on my galaxy s9 plus external audio is supported of course through even external apps but also even the normal application uh, from the camera Anyway, uh, on this side, as you can see, there are some other buttons. I mean, the A that is the same like the display button. It will just show those four things on the top. Uh, this one will just uh, lock or show all the circle and the square. And here you can just set your temperature, of course. So it kind of depends on your situation, which you want to use. All right, that's that for now. Okay, guys, so that is actually basically what Filmic Pro can do in comparison to the ZY Play app. Now, 
as you could see in the video I didn't mention anything about the modes like the ZY Play has so there is no possibility of tracking once you are in the Filmic Pro app there is no possibility um, of having a um, moving time-lapse or well basically a normal time-lapse is of course always possible since you can just put it on time-lapse and just put the gimbal somewhere um, but the moving time-lapse is not possible uh, like the, the tracking I mean it's just not possible I will try to find some workaround probably maybe because I have, for instance having the ZY Play app open uh, connect that one maybe to the gimbal and then just set the moving timeless but then instantly switch for instance to uh, the Filmic Pro app I think that might be a solution temporarily until maybe um, Filmic uh, will implant the moving time lapses and stuff now I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from my video. I know it can be a bit long uh, when I talk, but uh, in any case, uh, this is my way for now to make a video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope the audio quality is good because it's a bit windy in here. Uh, I'm currently at my hotel in Bucharest because I'm on a business trip here for three weeks. But uh, yeah, guys. Thumbs up if you liked the video, please uh, leave a comment down below what you think that I need to improve and also please leave a comment below if you like Filmic Pro with the Zion Smooth 4. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe to my channel if you want and I hope to see you guys all soon. See ya!